Hi everybody! Um, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, I'm Amy. I am the owner and operator of Marching Band Animals. We are in a marching band themed um, merchandise company mostly focusing on card games. Um, and we're going to do, or I'm going to do some drawing tonight, which technically isn't marching band related, uh, but um, I'm finishing up some commissions, or actually not finishing up, but I'm continuing on some commissions that I'm, I've been working on lately. Uh, but before we start get into that, um, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what we sell in marching band, at Marching Band Animals. So this is our online shop. We Our shop is located at shop.marchingbandimals.com. We have three, currently have three different card games. We have our Marching Band Animals card game, we have our Fight Song card game, and then we have a Marching Band themed photo deck. Um, we have uh, expansion packs and booster packs and exclusive cards that are available as well for our Marching Band Animals game. We sell stickers, um, all kinds of vinyl stickers. Um, we've got lots of different vinyl stickers. We sell uh, paper sticker sheets as well. These these sticker sheets would be great for scrapbooking. We got band related. We got music related. Uh, some of our local, uh, like the town that we're located out of, um, southwestern Virginia, uh, taco sticker sheets. Um, we have a couple shirts at the moment. Not very many. I am working on doing some additional shirts. That is one reason why I'm not doing a a a, uh, an actual presentation of our game or some some of our merchandise tonight like I usually start out our stream um, I am covered in black paint from where we've been doing t-shirts for uh, the local marching band I'm trying to get their band camp t-shirts finished before band camp next week um, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of our store what we what we sell uh, what we're about um, we do offer fundraising opportunities if small, preferably smaller bands uh, would like to do that. Um, I'm hoping to become, to get um, the opportunity to do some uh, competitions and uh, festivals this fall as well. I'm working on that. Um, but that's a little bit about us. And now I'm going to get into the meat of the stream, what we actually, what most of you probably are here to see. Um, I took some commissions a couple weeks ago to do some StarCraft characters for um, one of my co-workers and some of his uh, friends that play StarCraft. Um, so last week I finished one. Let me switch back over to Photoshop. Um, so last week I finished this one and uh, I didn't, didn't really get around to putting a background on it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to put on it, so I've kind of set this one aside for the moment because it's, as far as the character is done, the character is, is finished. Um, but I'm starting on another one tonight. Now, the, I, I am not really very familiar. Um, I said StarCraft. I meant Starfinder. Uh, getting my games confused. Uh, I'm not really very familiar with Starfinder, so I don't know how to pronounce the race of this character. Because every time I see it, I want to say Chocolata, and I know that's not right. Um, but I, this is the character that I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm assuming that it's female, and I'm making that assumption. I don't know for sure that that is true so if anybody is in the chat and wants to you know tell me yes or no whether or not that assumption is correct that would be great um but basically she or he or they're they're basically like a um i think a medic is what i was told but they have the ability to have do some other class work as well since it's like it's technically two people in the same body it's like two classes so um this is just a, a a quick sketch that i did later in the week last week um it wasn't really anything 
fancy and it wasn't uh, and I didn't really do a whole lot of detail and it was just kind of to sketch something out to try to get an idea as to what to do um, and there aren't very many reference pictures and on the internet that I could find for this uh, race of character but of the ones that I did found it looked like most of them they only have three fingers so that will make it easier for me because I really despise drawing hands but um and they're usually uh, the ones that I saw they looked like they were tall and thin I did not make this one as tall and thin because the little character model that I have that I've been drawing off of is not very tall and thin um excuse me but I can try to make try to make it a little bit thinner looking as I start drawing um so I know they ha this character has a sword cane. Um, that's kind of what I tried to draw there in the front, but I'm going to have to do a little bit more with it because um, when I ran it by one of my, my co-workers, he said he thought it was a little bit too long. Um, and, and the more I look at it, the more I think it's probably a little bit too thick as well. Um, it looks more like a, a rod than a than a sword cane. Um, but this is basically what I'm going to start with, so I'm hoping that some people will show up in the chat to help give me kind of some ideas as to what needs to be added, what needs to be subtracted. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to start sketching this out in a, in a well, it's, it's really just still going to be more of an underdrawing, but um, just to get kind of a a little more detailed line line work drawn. Um, the the thing I don't know about is hair, because the 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 couple that I found on the internet they really didn't have hair, and I didn't know if maybe that was would be something that would be desired or not. Um, why is it doing that? I don't know. And let's see, like looks like Photoshop has, yeah, it has reset all of my. It must have upgrade updated and did a bunch of resets. There we go. That's what I want. Smaller. Maybe. There we go. So let's start out with the this brush. I am on a separate layer. I don't want it to be that big. Go for about seven. That would be good. So I'm basically just going to do um, a red underdrawing. Try to sketch this out just a little bit more get a better feel for what the character should look like, um, you know, fill in some of the little details that we would want to add, and then I will move on to doing a, a, a an actual uh, line drawing. The last one that, that I did, this one over here, I tried, I did it more of in a lineless style, and I don't intend on doing that with this new one because that other one took me absolutely forever to do doing it that way because I I just don't I don't normally do things that way and I haven't had enough practice in it and so I need to, not that I don't need to practice it's just I I would like to practice more with that on things that are uh, smaller less detailed until I can you know get better at that so let's just kind of fill in the face. Start with the face. So my idea in this one was to kind of have her looking down. This is like a tablet that she's looking down at. So you're not going to have a full view of her face. Yeah, thank you for asking her to join, but maybe, she, I mean, even if she can't see what we're drawing, maybe she, we can at least ask, I can at least ask her questions. 
and see, you know, kind of what she wants. Um, some of my biggest questions are like hair and gender. Is gender a, a thing for this race or is it not a thing for this race? Yeah, but thanks for asking her to join. So if we're if she's looking down Yeah, I could do that. Um if I can pull it up here. Oh, I have it installed. Yes. Glad somebody got a nap today. I went straight from work to printing thirty t shirts to doing this, so I'm I'm gonna be a little drained after this. <laughs> I'm in the right group. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. I figured I I didn't know how they would really be one gender or the other, but um, that makes sense that they would kind of be genderless. Um, Nair Tan, are you talking about the voice chat or the text chat? I don't know if I can do voice chat and do stream as well. Can I do that? Can I do both from... Hmm. I don't know. Can you hear me? Walter, hello, hello. Yep, I can hear you. I uh, don't hear you coming... I hear you coming through Twitch. Let me mute your Twitch. Okay. All right, go ahead, speak. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I'm muted. Oh, nope. That was not the mute button. That was the hang up button. <laughs> Myself come through. <laughs> Can you hear yourself through the Twitch now? Um. Well, I, I'm not sure if you are you hearing me? I can hear you, yes. Oh, I'm coming out through your uh, through your Twitch. Okay. I'm going to mute Twitch. Well, no, I, I can't hear you. Okay, that's really annoying hearing myself say what I just said. <laughs> You're going to have to mute. Yeah, your Twitch. I'll mute Twitch. But I don't know if I'm hearing you through Twitch or if I'm hearing you through Discord. I don't know either. It it it's lighting up around my user ID. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing you up on Discord, but I'm not hearing anything from you. Okay. Wonder how to change. I wonder if it's because. wonder if it's because it's going through Twitch. Maybe it can't do two sources. No, we, it does. We This is how we play on Fridays. you have a suggestion on what I should look at? Um, 
yeah, within Discord, your settings, if you click on the little gear at the bottom yeah. for user settings, and then you want your voice settings. Okay. Oh, I bet that's why. Uh, one. Yeah, it's voice and video. Yolanda's on. Okay. Can you hear me now? Through. I can hear you. Okay. Well, that's good. Hold on. I hear you on someone's Twitch too. <laughs> so we were talking about. No, what... I'm only hearing you through Twitch. <laughs> I wonder why you can only hear me through Twitch. Maybe my stuff's messed up. Maybe it's yours. It's Maybe yours. Sure. So I know you can't see what I'm drawing you, drawing for you. So I was kind of wanting to get some ideas of what you had in mind. And um, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the character that I'm drawing, um, someone in the chat, I can't remember who it was because I can't find my chat now, said that the the race is probably fairly genderless, and I just wanted to make sure that's what you wanted. Or did you want to for me to make the character a specific gender? By the way, uh, Amy, Yolanda, Yolanda, Amy. Yolanda. And it was JD that said that. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's Jaws you heard talking. Or... Yeah, whenever I unmute myself, it's unfortunate. You hear it going blah, 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 a little bit. I actually did not really think about the whole gender appearance thing because from the description, they're just energy people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there were a couple of pictures online that I found, and most of them looked fairly genderless. But it, it basically just looked like a really tall, lanky person with three fingers, and they were kind of greenish, yellow, glowy people. So that's kind of what I was going to go for, if that's okay with you. Um, that's fine. Um, and then I wasn't sure if you, would, if you wanted hair, because most of the ones I found didn't really have hair, but I was thinking maybe do like trailing light kind of give the impression of hair that's kind of what i was thinking okay so not not actual physical hair just kind of the appearance like wispy things yeah yeah um so the outfit is there anything specific that you wanted to see or i'm sorry that you would like for me to draw <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I'm the one that tells the worst jokes, so. <laughs> um. So what I had drawn um, originally, kind of as a a, a mock-up, was kind of a a shirt that kind of crisscrosses across the front. And comes down into points on the sides. Uh -huh. um, it looks, to me, it looks very what I would imagine like a Star Trek medic wear, but it's not really Star Trek themed. It's not. It's not something like directly from any specific show, but it's kind of what I envisioned like a, a medic to wear, um, with like a a really large high collar um but is there anything specific that you were thinking about not in specifics because the, the character she's got a lot of skills so she does a lot of things mm -hmm. um i'm not sure how familiar you are with the uh character building for starfinder but like her background theme is a xeno archaeologist so okay um so she's done a lot of that even though yeah okay she's got a lot of the medic skills but she's got a lot of knowledge skills and um she's good at piloting so 
you know, she's... As far as the role in the group, she's kind of the, the skill monkey bard kind of okay thing. Just without the playing instruments all the time. <laughs> I think that would be cool, though, to have like a bard in space. <laughs> I mean, okay. that's what she is. She like, tells people to do stuff and it gives them bonuses when they go do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I hadn't really drawn out eyes because I wasn't really sure what kind of eyes to give it. Give your character. Um, what kind of personality are you looking for? Well, so see, that's the thing is with this races, they're actually two people in one, so mm -hmm. they got two. Um, so two, you know completely separate personalities just one's only one's active at a time right and i really was not sure how that could be um yeah um uh, displayed in a picture because i mean it, it's it mentions that they their appearance kind of shifts with each of the personalities yeah which that would again, be i don't know how that works when they're just things of light, which is why I thought maybe they were they had a more solid humanoid form, but mm. yeah, um, I mean, a lot of the pictures that, I, well, the, when I say a lot, I mean trouble. like the six pictures <laughs> that I found online um, they were pretty they, I mean, they looked like just normal people well, not normal people, but they looked like a person, a tall skinny person with um uh with like regular space clothes mm -hmm. so um, um i know well, you i'm going for you know as far as the common characteristics basically i mean they're both uh generally charismatic okay um so they're very sociable, you know, able to talk themselves in and out of things. Um, okay. Very, you know, self-confident. Um, not really someone that you see, like, be the first one to run up there to fight things. Okay. <laughs> I have to think of how to imply that in the eyes, because I don't want to make them too <clears throat> cartoony. If it's kind of a yeah, I mean she she has a lot of um, knowledge and stuff, so she's you know a studious sort. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to draw eyes that don't look angry. <laughs> right now they look a little bit angry. Um, like save that for the vest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about Starfinder. I've never played. I've never played Pathfinder. I've never even played D and D. Most of the games that I play are video games. So I used to do that when I could see them. You do play the right kind of video games. Yes, the nerdy ones. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are there any other kind? <laughs> I don't play the first-person shooters, partly because oh, I. Okay. I am not good at that. I don't have the coordination skills required to do things like that. I have to play the ones that either are just straight up button mashers or <laughs> just require you to think about what your next move needs to be. So. That's okay. I like video games that make you think. I 
don't know. It does look pretty mean. Eyes look. Scowl feel to it. It does have a very scowly feel. Maybe she's I mean, just she only deep might in get thought. that way if someone uh, uh, you know messes up the ship she's. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's just deep in thought. If I make her eyebrows kind of lift it, maybe it'll help. How about that? Kind of a smirk. Okay, so the cane. So what I what I drew in her hand is kind of well, right now it just looks like a square, but um, it's gonna. I'm gonna try to fill it out and make it look a little more like a, a tablet, um, or a you know a handheld computer or something. Um, and then tablet's not what it comes down to. Yeah. And then in the other hand, I was going to put the sword cane that you had mentioned. Is there something specific that you're looking for for that? And I'm I apologize. I keep I'm, I'm no, trying. it's okay. <laughs> I, I mean, okay. So I haven't always been unable to see things, so I can visualize things. Okay. But, um. So I hadn't really had a specific design in mind because. Well, it's all Starfinders, all kinds of alien things. Mm -hmm. Well, I imagine that it would have some unique design to it. Like, it's something she found in her, you know, archaeology -ness, Okay. Uh, or had made based off of something that she's seen or found. Okay. Is there something specific to you that would that has like significant importance that I could like stylize it off of? Well, um, one of her personalities is a uh, follower of Serenray, which is one of the deities. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of symbology art for her out there. Okay. I'll have to look that up because I don't know what what should I I mean, can you spell that? I think it's S A R E N R E I'm not sure. She's basically like the, the deity of uh of healing and fire and whatnot, but let me see how it's spelled. R E N R A E. S what? S A R E N R A E. Oh, wow. Okay, I was right. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. So the the icon that it pulls up when I pull up the this wiki page is it kind of looks like a a halo with like a what looks like the uh, Rebel Alliance symbol that's got a really long point on it with wings <laughs> around it. I would say she's pretty much like a she's like a sun goddess, fire, healing, protection. Yeah, um, I can see that it might be kind of supposed to be like a stylized um, phoenix or something like that. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with that, because that probably would be pretty cool. On that, find my right pin. Let's see. I could put it so it's cut a sharp point 
We put the wings circle there. Got a sharp point that comes down. What I drew is really not straight. It is like, I cannot draw a straight line tonight for some reason. But, so basically yeah, what it I'm looks... I'm not particularly good at straight lines either. <laughs> uh, so what it looks like basically... Uh, drive. <laughs> What'd you say? So yeah, you should see Yolanda drive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did better than a lot of my coworkers with the forklift. So it's basically got two large wings on the end of it, and it's got like a little circular ball that the two wings are attached to. And then just, you know, like a shaft coming down from the bottom of it. Okay. Two, uh... The symbology of Serenade is an angel with flaming wings. Makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. I was thinking more like these were the wings and like this was the head and this was the like the beak of a bird. That's what I was thinking, but the angel probably makes more sense. Okay, and you said that uh, she had a holster with like a pistol in it, right? Did you um, want yeah. the um, did you want the holster like mounted to her hip or strapped to her hip or like strapped to her waist? Um, I'm going with the the whole uh, eye holster. Okay. that like I don't know if you consider it like a theme of this character or whatever I like because of the two personalities or the two souls intertwined the way that I don't know if it's a tunic or a shirt or whatever has that like cross thing in there kind of like combining two into one sort of thing kind that of a neat symbology for it. I really like that. That's kind of what I was thinking when I did that too. Yeah. And I was thinking we would do one side of one color and one side another color to kind of give it that that same you know, feel. Yeah. feel. Yeah. No, I can't draw a gun. So that's like my uh, until I can really sit down and look at a gun and get an idea as to what that should look like. That's going to suffice. <laughs> I mean, do they even have a picture of the, uh, well, the, the skip shot, Tanner? Uh, I'm checking right now. Because it came in as a, uh, it wasn't in the Corval book. That was in, it started somewhere else, right? Probably, yeah. I don't even know. I could ask Google. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. He 
Yeah, near space is the source. Okay. Um, jewelry, uh, buck, uh, belt buckles, pins, anything like that on that you would want to have on her. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's something that I didn't really uh, think about. Um. Just think about it real quick and then I'll finish drawing her pants. to have like a maybe a wrist band or wrist uh bracelet that's what they're called a bracelet that has that little cross motif yeah I can't really think of anything because I, as a person, don't really wear a lot of jewelry, so. <laughs> I don't either, and that's why it's hard for me to draw somebody with a, with a lot of jewelry because I don't, I personally don't like to wear a lot of jewelry. But I'll give her just like a basic belt buckle. Well, that's yeah, I mean. Middle. A belt. A belt's kind of important because she's got, you know, tools and bits and things. Do you want her to have some sort of tool belt? Oh, she could have one. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a uh, particularly uh, complicated one. Okay. She's not. She's not as much of a, a mechanic as the as the uh, as Betsy's character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where could I put that? Let's do it this way. I'll just do a, a separate, like, belt loop. Uh, kind of like a tool belt around her waist, opposite of the pistol. What kind of things would she have in her tool belt? They. Uh, you should probably have some basic things for repairing. Um. It might even be where some of her like emergency first aid stuff rides. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could definitely like put like a little medic kit something on one part and then maybe like some tools next yeah. to it. You're an operative too, which is the equivalent of like a rogue or ranger. So like a knife? Kind of thing. Well... I was thinking like thieves tools kind of thing, like lock picks. picks. And... Okay. Nothing I like a good multi tool, right? Right. <laughs> Is there, you know, we use the white cross for to symbolize medic gear. Is there a Starfinder kind of symbol that is typically used to represent medic gear? I don't know. I haven't really had a solid opportunity to play this game myself, so. Okay.
I'll draw a crescent wrench because they're easy to draw. <laughs> <laughs> What I'll do is I'll just put like some little pocket like thing pouches on this belt and you can say whatever you want to is in them. <laughs> got shoes, I've got the gun, I've got kind of light wispies on the head. Um, what else? Anybody else? Can you think of anything else that we could add to Get a little more interesting. Not even looking at the chat. Uh, placed my chat. Um, what colors were you thinking for clothing? Hmm. Uh, let me, let me check a thing. Oh, uh, I was hoping that the uh, the other deity that the other part of the character kind of associates with had like a color theme to her, but I didn't see one listed. Okay. Um. Do you want me? Uh, I feel on. so terrible because I didn't like think about it. It's okay. Stuff. It's fine. Um, the symbol for the Saren, Saren Ray. Yeah, she has. It's like like reds and oranges. Yeah. I think are her thing. Um, um, one of the sides of the tunic is red. The other side orange. And then maybe the top shoulder area, like a black. I don't know. I was thinking maybe either that Tanner or... can see what some of this stuff looks like. Um... Yeah, that's why I'm here to help <laughs> with some of it. I was thinking either that or maybe like a one side be gray like a dark gray and one mm -hmm. side be yellow or orange yeah, that, would be cool. that could be cool to have a very distinctive difference between the two yeah. colors there's the uh, other deity name tanner if you want to your race uh, knowledge mental perfection scholarship and science <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, so the symbol for this god is an atom okay. with a brain as its nucleus. Okay. Does it look like there's a color theme to it? 
let me search for images. Okay, and it's like a top-down view of the brain, so you can see both hemispheres of it, not like a front-on, like I imagined at first. <laughs> I can see why you would have been so amused by it. I'm sure Amy will Google it and paste it in there. Where are you putting it? In Discord? Did Discord go? Um, yeah, I'll put it in Discord. That's Discord is obviously running, there. but I cannot find it. There's a deep okay. art that somebody made it's similar, but it is the front on view. Okay. I just thought there might be colors that could be. Well, the symbol is blue. And blue and yellow would look cool together. If we did one side blue, it's because it's kind of an aqua blue. Oh, okay. If we did like an aqua blue and a golden yellow, maybe black that could is be the. Nice. I'm going to copy that picture and put it in here so I have a reference. It won't copy. Let me copy it. Weird. I'll just have to Google it. Yeah, if you Google it, just look at images, you'll see those. So I'll pull up colors just so I don't remember don't forget to if we do kind of this color. Is the yellow blue? Gray, dark gray, accent color. I think that will work. Be very, very obvious, you know. I guess I could put something that represents each deity on each side. Not sure if that's yeah, if necessary. You put the, if you were to put a little Saren Ray type icon on that left side, well, I guess it, it's the character's right, but from our perspective, the left. That looks sweet. So, just so you know, Yolanda, the character pose is kind of that I chose to do for this one is kind of walking forward. She's like looking down at her tablet and walking. Like she's very engrossed in what she's doing and doesn't have time to put her her tablet down, her put yeah. her reading down. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess I could start doing real lines now. Now that I've kind of laid it out, because <laughs> I just did the. Baselines and get 
black to come up. Yeah, I think if you were to do on each side one of the ic the two different icons for the two different deities and have that side be that color mm -hmm. that was represented, but that would look pretty cool. Okay. I think you're onto something. Start putting some real lines in. part where it's hard for me to t talk and draw at the same time. No, it's okay. Boys, we can bring Paka on. <laughs> I was trying- he's apparently playing a D&D game right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. I was I trying to- he's having the same- same audio problem with Twitch I was, so I was like, oh hey, we, we're in uh, Discord, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand Discord. Yeah. When I plug in this headset, sometimes it takes, it switches everything over to the headset. Sometimes uh -huh. it doesn't. Sometimes, it like today, it switched my mic, but not my speakers on the headset, mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes it's the other way around. I, it just, it's like so annoying and frustrating. Weird. We used to have problems um, when I would play Final Fantasy with my brother and we were doing, trying to do raids together. Um, we could never get everybody's voice chat to work at the same time. His would go <laughs> out, then mine would go out, then my daughter's would go out. Then my brother-in-law's would go out, and we could never keep it going, so we finally gave up on it and eventually just did normal calls. That was annoying, and, and we, I, I assume it's poss possibly because it, we were doing it on our phones instead of on our computers, but considering you're supposed to be able to talk to your party on Discord, it was annoying. The difference in playing an online game with and without communication is significant. Uh, yeah. Especially when you're doing like a level 70 raid and you're only like <laughs> level 68. <laughs> And tell you how many times Ifrit Extreme Mode killed us. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know if I told you. We did 31 shirts tonight, so we're printing t-shirts for... You're at 62 total out of... 61 total 61. Out, of, out of 100 and... Well, we were told that there were more that we have to print tonight. Oh, jeez. I think it's 100, 115 at this point. So, they keep coming up with different... with more people that need shirts. Well, you're doing such a great job. They're going to need more shirts all of a sudden. Oh. I'm regretting this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what always happens. I volunteer myself for stuff. And then I seriously regret it afterwards. But I pretty much today told Liz that I had to leave leave early. Or not leave early, but leave at 5 o'clock every day. 
just to make sure that the kids don't get ink all over my basement. <laughs> yeah. He was okay with that. I'm well, yesterday when you that. said, when you said, hey, I'm going to take the rest of the day off, I thought to myself, mm-hmm, making shirts. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yesterday. And then you came back. Yeah, you told me. Unfortunately, you it you was doing, not. What, Toby? Toby. <clears throat> well, let's see. Should I... I'm trying to decide if I if I like the way this arm looks or if I should like do something else with it. But I don't know what else to do with it is the problem cuz like I said I hate drawing hands and that kind of hides the hand even though it's only a three finger hand. <laughs> I was never particularly good with drawing hands either. They're the worst. Hands and feet, they're the absolute worst. I never thought I could draw lips very well either. Oh, I can't draw lips either. I've never really been particularly good about drawing any kind of human form. So this is a real stretch for me. Because most of the time I just draw animals. Because uh. I... When I was younger, that's mostly all that I drew were animals. So it was all I ever practiced on. And... I was in art class one time. I was thinking, you know, maybe I'd go to art school, which I'm kind of glad I didn't go to art school. But um, the teacher was like, my art teacher was like, yeah, you're going to have to do a lot of uh, portraitures in your art class. And I said, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I stopped taking art classes after that. She told me the second year art class was like a lot of portraitures, and I wasn't up for that. I was okay with doing the steel lifes and the, um, we had to draw our dream house, and in high, this is in high school, so, you know, and that's the last art class I took. <laughs> that, that's it. I might actually would be pretty good at art if I'd stuck with it, though. But I'd say the money was not in... The money is definitely not in art. Unless you become famous and... Not likely that'll happen. Well, it depends on us. At this day and age, it all depends on what kind of art you go into. That's true. Yeah. Son has kind of talked about possibly doing. Um, some sort of art. And I keep telling him if he plans on doing that, he needs to take up a trade as well. Because he might need it. So, down there... Are y'all having the sh shortage of toilet paper that we have started seeing around here? I'm aware. So apparently, people are starting to hoard it around here again. Because they're thinking that the we're going to go back into lockdown. Oh. Uh, My mom had to go... To me. Go ahead. As I said, too many people in Florida just don't care. 
at this point, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that you could lock Florida down at this point again. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could say that, like, business owners would do it because they don't want to get, like, fined and shut down or whatever, but right. people will find a way to go out and... People w found a way to go out and do things even when Florida was locked yeah. down the first time, so... Yeah. Belt. Mm. I'm not sure about this belt. Too big, too small? Well, I'm having, I'm not sure I like the way the little pouches that I'm growing on it look. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna finish it and see if I like it better once I get it all done. probably just try to get these lines done tonight and then I'll probably try to work on coloring it in getting some of it colored in this week in between the however many shirts I have left to color, to print and then um, I'll probably just finish it up do the final details in it next week during the stream Assuming I don't get pulled into something other crazy, some other crazy stuff that I need to do. Okay. I was actually thinking about if you if you guys want, I have all this resin that I bought. That um, thought about making jewelry, but after I started doing it, I realized it was a lot more work than I really wanted to do. Um, I can print off your characters and cast them in resin to do like little game pieces, but I didn't know if you all would want something like that. Do you use an actual desktop? Um, well, we're going to be digital though. That's right. I wasn't That's... sure if you were going to be all digital if you were still going to do some of it tabletop as far as i know it's all going to be digital i mean we have the option since we're going to be meeting live um but it's really going to be digital in person yeah it, it, it's the way we're doing it's going to be a little weird you know mm -hmm. that's fine This tablet needs a an icon on the back. So you didn't find a picture of the pistol? I mean, it just looks like a regular gun. Every, okay. I mean, there's nothing really spectacular about it.
you should draw a Disney logo on the back of the tablet. Why? <laughs> Why Disney? <laughs> They're like a conglomerate, and I'm sure that at some point, you know, in the future, even in the make-believe future, they would probably make tablets. I don't know, I think it'd be more interesting than an Apple logo. Uh -huh. That is technically a sun. It is not an apple. Oh, no, 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 I'm just saying. You could make an <laughs> Apple logo. What's the opposite of an apple? Most most uh, Disney shows used to have a pair. Or was it? It might have been Nickelodeon shows. Back when my kids actually watched Nickelodeon. the part that I don't like is drawing guns because I don't know how to draw a gun. I like drawing a crescent wrench but you bend it in the middle. A crescent <laughs> wrench but you bend it in the middle? I know you, you said you want to draw a crescent wrench because it's easy. <laughs> and so I was trying to think of something easy to draw that but just make a long one and bend it. And give it like a you know 45 degree bend. At the midpoint. Now this gun is uh, actually shoots bullets. Uh, it technically it teleports the bullets when it fires. Um, so it's not like a laser pistol that has like a battery or something. You know, it's going to actually probably have some sort of a magazine in the grip. In the helps. grip. But yeah, like a normal. Like oh, a, like a. Like a nine millimeter. Okay. Or, so it's going to have to be wider, is what you're saying. Not necessarily. It's a pretty small bullet. And like I say, it, it teleports it. It doesn't shoot it, if that makes sense. The bullets are teleported. Which just means mechanically, the farther away you are, it doesn't make it, doesn't make it harder. Or it yeah. doesn't make it as hard. I think the what you've drawn there looks fine. The fact that the lines are really, really crispy. That is apparently the word to use. I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly though. Crispy? <laughs> Everything tonight was crispy. Or this afternoon when they were doing shirts, everything was crispy. Oh, that's the lingo to use. I you... guess, yeah. You can ask your kids if everything's crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Is the opposite soggy or? I have no idea. Crusty, maybe? Okay, I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> I don't know if I can do any better than that right now. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> oh, hi, chat. I probably shouldn't stick around too much longer. I still have to pack for my flight tomorrow. 
either. I appreciate your input. I, it was very helpful. I'm glad I could put in what bit of, what bit I could. I just, you know, wouldn't want something to be drawn and then you find out later that it has something that just like completely contrasts with the image you have in your head of right. what it looks like, you know? Yeah, I gotcha. So to be fair, I'm kind of terrible when it comes to characters because like I have like a basic idea of the character and then as I play as that character, that's kind of how, you know, I... Fills in the details as you go. Fill in the details, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't, you know. Yeah. Because, because it never fails for me when I make a character, and I have all these ideas and everything, and then a plot happens, and it just doesn't ever turn out that way. <laughs> Yeah, like you find out you have to go kill a blue dragon with your blue kobold. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Did you have to go kill a blue dragon? No, but we have to. And so that puts my Dabadi in a moral conundrum of, you know, a kobold worships dragons. Like, that's like the most amazing thing ever. And it's a blue dragon we're supposed to be going after. So. You know, it's like, does, does he stay loyal with his party and his group, or does he, uh, you know, join the dragon and try to become, you know, it's one of its uh, servants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like you've and, got quite the conundrum there. And so as our leader was telling us of this dragon that we need to go find their horde of items and steal a specific one and most likely we'll have to kill the dragon if they if it finds us or whatever i mentioned that some or you know explain that i don't know if i'd be able to fight this dragon with you guys and all of a sudden it's a question of my uh how you know loyalty to my loyalty would you betray me <laughs> yeah and so then uh The what do, you, what do you call Namu, our ringleader or whatever, ordered one of our other players to throw me off the boat that we were on. And thankfully, Will froze up and didn't do it immediately. I would have done it immediately. I wouldn't have thought about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. There would have been no delay. So I ended up you know, discussing it and so forth. And so I ended up getting in the group organization now. I've been knocked down one full rank. So yeah, if, if I had been playing his character the way he has been playing that character, yeah, I'd just done it. Yeah. I'm I've glad you don't. Find... I'm glad in real life you don't throw people under the bus like that. <laughs> I hear Tom. Yeah, Tom's got to contribute. I have peanuts to throw from my gallery. <laughs> I hope you'll have plenty of peanuts to throw when your character's getting drawn. I'm just anticipating what well, we're anticipating here, so. Well, Yolanda, if you're going to go, I don't want you to feel obligated to stick around. Well, that's why I always we got just got to talking and I was contributing, so. Yeah. All right, well, I'll catch you guys around. Yep. Thank you for joining. Have a good trip.
Oh, I'll try. Oh man, I really cannot draw a straight line tonight. Isn't there a way to make it automate automatic? Yes, there is. Straighten the line for you? Yes, there is. Of course, then again, I don't think you want it to be perfectly straight because then it doesn't look. Use. Even. Actually, I don't know what the tool is in Photoshop. I don't usually use Photoshop, I usually use Illustrator. But it's hard to draw in Illustrator. There it is. Line tool. What did that do? That didn't do what I wanted. I'll just draw it. I probably should take some classes on Photoshop and Illustrator just so that I kind of know a little bit more about what to do in these situations. Just when do I have the time to take some additional classes? All the other classes that we're supposed to be taking for work. Oh, Jesus. What's the last class you took? Uh, the sexual harassment one. I oh crap! I haven't done that one yet. Yeah, it's due. We're I gonna know. have that done pretty soon, and they're not quick. It it doesn't let you like click next until it has completed the thing, and you have to click all the little links and read it. Well, I don't read God. everything, but um, yeah, you have to. What is secure? Was the security training? The anti-fishing one, I think it is, and then the sexual harassment one. Did we just do an anti-fishing one? I don't know. Seems like we just did an anti-fishing one. Gosh. I mean, I understand why we have to do them. We're fortunate that in our position, we deal mostly with intelligent, really strong IT technical people. But there's a lot of people at our company, which I'm not going to mention, that don't have that same strong IT computery background. So True gotta have that stuff can't oh, make sexual... somebody do it and not make everybody else do it yep the sexual harassment thing was so cringy they're always cringy okay so we're drawing a brain Regretting the Arby's that we had for dinner tonight. Gosh. That's all Kira wanted was Arby's. Brain is a little more rounded than that on the edges. That's good enough. Then do
use your speed move a little to down and left. Yeah, it doesn't look right. It's not like centered like the other uh, one. Oh, yeah. It's going to have to be smaller. Mm hmm. Be. Yeah. But Please. that's sweet. <clears throat> Really, the point's shorter, too. Fixed. Should make it darker. Okay. Oh, I didn't even touch her face. I guess there really wouldn't be hair <laughs> for the eyebrows. I don't like the eyes. The more I look at them, the less I like them. I think it's just the, the shape of the brow. If it didn't have such a a U shape to it, if that makes sense, it was flatter. Wow, that's crazy. You changing it, the little bits you're changing it, and how much of a difference it makes. They look like very anime eyes. And that really wasn't what I was going for, but what we got. That eye over there is bigger. Put a white background behind it just to looks like I guess I could do this. Anything else you think it needs to added? Hair. <laughs> well, besides hair. I'm not going to draw those in with lines because we're going to make them look like kind of light. Um, 
it won't <clears throat> I don't want it to have like hard black lines that leg is really fat right there Does that look okay? I think looks good to me. Okay. Well, anyone else watching that is in the chat have any opinions on this? You get about ten seconds, and we give up on you. <laughs> There's a little bit of delay. I've noticed that it takes a couple seconds for. Yeah. If not, I am going to save this. If I don't, I'm going to leave. I, how do I spell this? S H A. Oh, hell, I don't know. Is that it? Um, it's close enough. Yolanda, Yolanda junk. <laughs> That's close enough. <clears throat> so I'll color it, uh, start coloring this week when I'm not printing shirts and see what happens. Next week we'll S kind of cover S H A K A T L A. I'm back, got some letters backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Um, I'm gonna call it a night. It's did you say anything? Did you say anything about marching bandimals? Oh, I did earlier, but I had a very short period because I've got ink all over me, so I didn't do a whole lot. <clears throat> but yeah, um, OBS, so I can change sources. Um, so marching bandimals. That's the name of my shop. Where's my closing? There it is. Um, we currently have a sale right now. Um, well, it's not really a sale, but a summer promotion where um, all orders over five dollars uh, get free sh free standard shipping inside the U.S. Um, I don't have any new merchandise at the moment, but depending on how these shirts go, I'm thinking about printing some shirts myself to put in the shop. Um, if anybody has any specific ideas for shirts, I'm open to that. I'm thinking about doing some of the designs that I have done in some of my other Twitch streams or things that I've pushed, posted to, to Instagram. But um, Marching Banimals, we are, uh, uh, we sell marching band, a marching band card game called Marching Banimals. Um, we also have a fight song game, which is not geared primarily to marching band. It's geared to marching band, the color guard, uh, the cheerleaders, the fans of the stands, the alumni. It plays, I won't say exactly like Uno, but it kind of has an Uno-like feel to it. Um, it's a fairly quick game to play. It's a four-player team game. Um, and we also have a poker deck. Uh, along with lots of stickers and buttons and other kinds of merchandise in our shop. So check us out if you have the time. Um, our sale or our, our summer promotion probably won't last much longer, probably until the first week or two of August. So if you would like to get free shipping, uh, check it out now. Um, I think that's all for tonight. Uh, Thanks for watching. We'll stream again next week at 8.30 on Tuesday. And we look forward to y'all being here and watching. Thanks for joining us. Y'all have a good night.